Hey there, Fable here with another episode of the Quantum Academy. Dub techno is one of my most favorite music genres. And if you look closer into the history of dub music, you will find that Waldorf has played a major role in dub techno. And this time we're gonna recreate one of the most recognizable sounds of dub techno, and that has to be the dub chord itself. We start by going to the load page, hit the initialize button, and as you can hear, we then have a blank patch. From there, we go to our first oscillator and select a sawtooth wave. Dub chords are traditionally minor chords. Let's go over to the controls and create a minor chord with just one oscillator. Because I like my dub chords to be more aggressive and more cut through, I play around with the sync and warp parameters of the selected oscillator. So let's hear that. Perfect. Now it's time to adjust the amp envelope. Dub chords for me shouldn't interfere with the bass or the kick drum. Luckily, I have a great sounding EQ that helps me to filter out everything that could interfere with the low end. One of the most important aspects of a dub chord is the delay slash reverb. The quantum gives us a really nice delay to play with. My goal is to have a wonky sounding, unpredictable delay. That's why I play around with the parameters, especially with the decoupling and with the different time signatures for the left and right delay. All right, it starts to sound like a dub chord and it gets a more dubby vibe, but I would like to put it down 12 semitones so it gets more darker. Also, I wanna add a reverb. Right, we're getting there. And again, a little bit more on the darker side of a reverb. The moment you all have been waiting for, it's time to play around with the filter. The analog filter gives us a plethora of different filter modes. We can achieve more movement with the filter envelope. As nice as the saturated filter sounds, I really enjoy the dirty filter for this sound. This already sounds lovely, but as mentioned before, I really like my dub chords to be nasally and aggressive. Hence, I put a bandpass filter behind the analog filter, and the naif filter is just perfect for that. As you can hear, the dub chord now is really aggressive and well-defined thanks to the bandpass filter. To achieve a more drastic sound, I modulate the bandpass filter now with the filter envelope as well. Okay, time for some refinement. Fine-tune the EQ and fine-tuning the delay.
might be interesting to add more resonance and filter envelope variation. Okay, time to move on. I can really get lost in these beautiful atmospheric sounds. One of my favorite features of the Quantum is the sample engine because it allows me to add more layers to a sound in contrast to a traditional synthesizer. And here in the folder structure, you can see that the Quantum comes with a set of pre-recorded samples, which you can use for your own sounds. That's pretty cool. So for the dub chord, I would like to add a vinyl crackle, and that will give the dub chord even more texture. Pitch striking should be zero because I don't want the, the sample to change its pitch over the keyboard. The vinyl noise shouldn't be affected by the filters. Therefore, I route the second oscillator directly to the VCA. Whoops, wrong knob. Even with oscillator 2 set to maximum volume, the sample is too quiet, but luckily we can adjust the overall gain for the sample. way better. If necessary, we can also adjust the start point of the sample. And we're finished. That's how you create your own dub chords on your world of quantum. Now that we have finished the sound, let's hear it in some musical context. See you next time.